From Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is your morning news update with J.R. Lewis. Good morning and thanks for joining us on this Friday, May the 9th, 2014. In the news, the Tanana Chiefs Conference released a statement yesterday regarding new information reported in the case of the Fairbanks Four. The Alaska Innocence Project reported this past Wednesday that Fairbanks police had been told another person confessed to the killing of John Hartman in 2011, but that nothing was done. TCC says it has long maintained that justice was not served in the case and applauded the ongoing work of the Alaska Innocence Project. Governor Sean Parnell signed Senate Bill 138 in Fairbanks yesterday at the Pipeline Training Center on Van Horn Road. The legislation introduced by the governor advances a large diameter Alaska natural gas pipeline project with the state becoming part owner. The governor said for the first time they have alignment among the necessary parties, authorization from the legislature, and the beginning of engineering work on the project. Formal commercial agreements are expected to be finalized in the coming weeks. And Golden Valley Electric Association and Petrostar Incorporated reached agreement yesterday on terms covering the supply of fuel for GVEA's North Pole power plants. The parties hope to finalize a contract sometime after the GVEA board meeting on May 12th. GVEA has been working to find a new fuel supplier since February when Flint Hills Resources announced it would cease operations. Corey Borgeson, president and CEO of Golden Valley, said this new fuel agreement will minimize the impact to the members' electric bills. Quick look at the Fairbanks weather. Today, partly cloudy with highs in the lower 60s. Tonight, partly cloudy with lows in the lower to mid 30s. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, highs in the low to mid 60s. Extended forecast shouldn't see much in the way of clouds for several days, and the highs will gradually warm over the weekend. We should be at 70 Monday through Wednesday. Allergy forecast still very high for trees, but low for grass, weeds, and mold. That's all we have for right now. Glad you could join us. The rest of the News Center team will be here tonight at 6 with the Fairbanks Evening News on KTVF Channel 11. From all of us here at News Center 11, I'm J.R. Lewis. Thanks for watching and enjoy the Mother's Day weekend.